Hello students. Now we know that Smith, GM Smith has divided algae into seven divisions. Starting with chlorophyta and ending at rhodophyta and mixophyta or cyanophyta. In FYBSC you studied chlorophyta and cyanophyta and SYBSC you studied phaophyta and in TYBSC you have finished with the rhodophyta. Now we are going to study chrysophyta. Chrysophyta, it's commonly called yellowish green algae. Pigments are localized in chromatophores that are yellowish green to golden brown because of predominance of carotenes and xanthophenes. Reserve food material is leucosin and oils. Starch formation never takes place. The cell wall is generally composed of two overlapping halves frequently impregnated with silica. The cells may be flagellate or non-flagellate or aflagellate, solitary or united in colonies of definite or indefinite shape. Asexual reproduction by means of flagellate or non-flagellated spores. In chrysophyta, there is formation of a special type of a flagellated spore or non flagellated spore called stratospore. Sexual reproduction is usually isogamous and by union of either flagellated gametes or non flagellated gametes. It may also be an isogamous or oogamous. That means oogamy can also take place, an isogamy can take place, and oogamy can also take place. In this group of algae, you have a special type of reproduction that is called autogamy. That's called autogamy. Children, let us study the classification of chrysophyta. Now, what are the uh, what is the classification? Division chrysophyta, the yellowish green algae. Although there is a little deviation in the coloration. In the three groups because there are three groups so we have to study the coloration in all the three groups together reserve food material is leucosin and oil you know it already and the pigments present are chlorophyll a c or e and chlorophyll b is completely absent and beta carotene it is present in all the groups in all the classes and it has got the various types of xanthophylls in some one xanthophyll is present in others different types of xanthophylls are present so that's what they in they that's why they impart different coloration to different groups so he classified this chrysophyta into three classes what are the three classes xanthophyce chrysophyce and bacillariophyce there's a little difference in these three xanthophyce have yellowish green chromatophores chrysophyce have golden brown colored chromatophores and bacillariophyce also have golden brown. They are glistening, shiny. So we have mostly the diatoms. They are grouped in bacillariophyce and chrysophyce. Some of the cells, some of the uh, these they are flagellated. Some of these uh, uh, organisms in uh, chrysophyce, some of the algae in chrysophyce are with naked pro uh, protoplast. And in xanthophyce, you can see the green, chrom yellowish green chromatophores. Now in xanthophyce, included four orders. These are heterochloridians, rhizochloridians, heterocapsales, and heterotrichia. And in chrysophyce, included again four orders chrysomonadales, rhizochrysidales, chrysocapsales, and, chry and chrysotrichiales. So, four, four orders in both the classes xanthophyce and chrysophyce. Whereas in bacillariophyce, he included only two orders pinales and centrales, the diatoms. The pinnate diatoms and centric diatoms mostly. And in group xanthophyce, which particular topic we are going to study, which particular type we are going to study is none other than Bocaria. While in bacillariophyce, we will be studying diatoms. And in chrysophyce, there is no topic as such suggested, no type suggested as such. Only Bocaria and diatoms. We will study the life cycle of Bocaria and diatoms. Since we are following the classification as proposed by G.M. Smith, I used the book uh, as written by G.M. Smith. 
cryptogamic botany volume 1 algae and fungi tata micra hill book company in the end big thank you to all my students for patiently listening if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe thank you